Oh, I forgot that. Today is All Hallows Eve, tomorrow All Saints Day. The Bell Choir would like to celebrate those two events. From the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, O sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. down. I'll try that <laughs> Who can tell me what today is besides Sunday? What is it? Anybody know? What are you going to do tonight if you didn't do it last night? Trick or treat. 
Trick or treat. That's it. So what's today then? Mm. Halloween. Halloween. Yes. Did you know that there was a ghost in the Bible? Did you know that there is a ghost in the Bible? Well, there's a story in John about Jesus feeding 5,000 people. Do you remember that story? The little boy had two fish and five loaves of bread, and they fed 5,000 people with that. After all the people were fed, though, Jesus went up to the mountain to pray. And by the time he came down to join the disciples, they were in the middle of the lake, about three to four miles away. So to get out to the boat, he just started walking on top of the water, on top of the water. Well, what do you suppose the disciples said? Do you think they were scared? Do you think they just thought, well, that's just Jesus? They were petrified, and they said, look, it's a ghost. But Jesus said, don't worry, it's I, Jesus. But Peter didn't believe him, so he said, if it's really you, tell me to walk on the water and come to you. So Jesus told him to come to him on the water, and he started walking on top of the water too. But he got scared when the wind started blowing, and he started to sink. He called out to Jesus and told him to save him. So Jesus reached out his hand and pulled him up again and said, Peter, Peter, you need to have more faith and believe. Then everyone in the boat bowed down and worshiped Jesus. And I have something for you. If you'll stand up and go back here, and you see those little things back there? Can you bring those out here? This is because it's Halloween and because we want to remember that Jesus is not a ghost. So everybody take one of these, okay? Jesus was not a ghost, but since the disciples could not believe that he could walk on water, they thought he truly was. Believe in Jesus. Have faith that he can do miracles because he is the Son of God. When you bow your heads, we'll have a word of prayer first. Jesus, you are a miracle worker and not a ghost. When you show us your miracles, give us the faith to believe. Go now in peace, and may the love of God surround you everywhere you go. Amen. I think there's somebody back there waiting for you.
The word in scripture this morning is Matthew 5, verses 1 through 12. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you who men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you. You falsely are my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your word is great in heaven, for so men persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God.